Power Automate makes it extremely easy for us to move Excel content around our connected applications. To get the content we want from any Excel file in Power Automate, we just need to employ a special action to retrieve it. And that's where CloudMersive Utility API connectors can make a big difference. In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can retrieve worksheets from any Excel document in one quick step using the CloudMersive Document Conversion Connector. To demonstrate, I'm starting off on the flow diagram page with an instant cloud flow set up. All we're going to do is grab a sample file, run it through the get worksheets action, and then take a look at the outputs of that action, which can be used as dynamic content. Let's start by retrieving our sample file. My file lives in SharePoint, so I'm quickly setting up a get file content action. Once I'm all done and the file name shows up, let's move on and incorporate our CloudMersive action. Let's click New Step and type CloudMersive into the search bar. Once we do that, we'll see a list of CloudMersive connectors below, and we can go ahead and select the CloudMersive Document Conversion Connector with the lime green logo from that list. My authorization details are saved already, but if it's your first time using this connector, you'll need to name your connection and provide an API key at this stage. If you don't have an API key, not to worry, you can get one for free with a limit of 800 API calls per month on our website and run your tests with that. Once you enter in that information, you'll jump over to the actions list that I'm looking at currently. From the actions list, let's type get worksheets and select the option that says get worksheets from an Excel spreadsheet. Once we open up this action, we can choose to process our file via file bytes or via a file URL. Since we used the get file content action to get our file, we can enter our file content into the file bytes field via the dynamic content window and then leave the URL field alone. Now let's give our flow a quick run and review the outputs. We first need to save our flow, so let's go ahead and do that. After we save our flow, we can click test in the upper right corner of the page and run a quick manual test. When our flow finishes running, let's open up the CloudMersive action and review the outputs. I used a file with only two worksheets, so I have a very simple response object here containing the path to my worksheets and the name of those worksheets as well. All this information can be used via the dynamic content window anywhere in our flow, and we can even add the contents of these worksheets into other Excel files if we choose. We can also convert that content to another tabular format like CSV, or we can convert it to JSON or XML and add the resulting objects into other files. All these conversions can be accomplished using other CloudMersive actions or other similar actions in Power Automate. That's totally up to you. With our demonstration complete, we've reached the end of this video. If you found this useful for your project, definitely check back in for more tips and demonstrations on our channel in the near future.